Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. This is Dre Day All Day, Every Day. This is like my first time talking in like two days. I've been sitting in the house, minding my business. Ain't talked to nobody. Cause I had kind of party for like two days and then I rested for other two days. And um, child, I'm tired. I'm not even tired no more. My stomach is trying to pass everything that I put in it over this past week. And look at my hair, child. Waiting on my friend to come over and braid my hair for me. But anywho, what y'all got going on today? I ain't got nothing going on. But let me tell y'all something. I had did a video yesterday. I think it was yesterday. Excuse you? It was either yesterday or the day before yesterday. And I was talking about... Some of the things that we was we gonna leave in 2019 is that New Year resolution, baby, yeah. And I was sitting there thinking, well, no, when I was doing the video, I was so thrown because I had I had did two videos yesterday. Well, in actuality, I did like three or four of them. But the more I kept doing the videos, the more thrown off I was, and then I was just like, let me delete those and re-record. <laughs> Cause I was so, I was I was sheets to the wind. I was just so far gone. And when I would listen to some of the video, like one video I had uploaded, I had messed up the editing on it, and then the other one I just didn't feel like editing because there's a lot of dead space, you know, in between my words, and there was a whole lot of space between my words because my goofy butt can figure out what the hell to say. So I was so I'm sitting there going through. I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna delete these and then re-record them when, you know, I'm feeling a little bit better. So, here we are. So, let's go on into it. So, these are the things that we are leaving in 2019. I ain't write a list there. But, because I'm, I'm going off on the dog on, on these. The things that we are leaving in 2019 is not a damn thing. We are carrying everything over into the new year. And I'm telling you why. When you carry stuff with you, especially lessons and shit like that, you carry it with you so you won't forget it. And then, like people say, oh, I'm leaving negative people. Is it? Okay, no, that. Huh? I'm looking at my window like an old woman. Um, people, I'm leaving negativity in 2019. Uh, or 2018. Why? Why are you leaving it? Bitch, you need it. You need the negative people. You need your <laughs> you need the uh the negative people around you. If you ain't got no negativity around you, hey, who gonna be your full stool? <laughs> you can't leave them, you need them around. What you do is you know who they are and you just you recognize it, recognize it, and know how to. Is this a text? Today? As soon as the green pump, I'm gonna tell her I'm gonna go to bed. I ain't got time for this. I hate waiting on people. But anyway, uh, yeah, you just realize who those people are, and just keep them at a distance. Keep them close to you, but keep them at a distance to where they really ain't gonna mess up what you got going on. You know, they ain't, gonna, they ain't got no direct effect on what you got going on. But you need those negative people. If you leave all the negative people, like I said, who going to be your first dude? Because Christians, they love that saying. Christians love that damn saying. God will make enemies out. He'll make my enemies into my first dude. Well, hell, if you leave all the negative people behind, who the hell, where you, who you going to step on? Anywho, what else? What else you need around you? Racist white people. We definitely need them. We need racist white people around us. Because if not, child, how are we going to learn to be strong and be resilient and know how to overcome? We shall overcome. We shall over. It ain't got dog, child. Like, uh, if racist white people were there, how are we going to know how to overcome? What what's the that drug addicts? We need them. Homeless people, we need them. 
So we can look at them and be like, I be damned if I be one of them. So I'm going to do everything in my damn power not to be one of them. We need these types of people around us. And race, we need racist white people. The only thing that we could do for racist white people is to not be one of them. And point them out when you see them. And respect the queen when you see her, bitch. <laughs> a lot of people don't know. A lot of people don't recognize. Everything plays a part in the circle of life. Everything plays. Why is it so dark? What is going on with me? Am I dying? I oh, don't know. My light just dead. My light dim, is that what that is? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> but no, a lot of people don't recognize. Okay, it's a little bit brighter, but it's just it's getting dark slowly but surely. Anywho, a lot of people don't know everything plays a part. Everything had is is there because it's supposed to be there. Because if everybody was the same, we won't learn nothing. We won't be able to do nothing. Wasn't no need for uh, you know, for strong leadership to come in. Like it wouldn't be no need for nothing if everybody was the same. And life would be boring as hell. Life would be boring without no struggles. Please believe me, it would be. If you had just a weary free life, you'll be bored as hell to where you have to go out there and make some trouble. That's what drug that's what drug addicts are. No, I'm just playing. But <laughs> Cause I used to tell my mama all the time. <laughs> I used to tell my mama all the time when we when we have our little conversations and stuff, and or when I talk to you know when we're talking about people who be going through a whole bunch of stuff or they doing just a little bit extra foolishness. I be sitting there thinking, I be like, they must ain't got nothing to do. They really must ain't got nothing to do. Cause if your t- idle hands is the devil's workshop, if you if your town was t- taken up by work and stuff, you wouldn't have no drama in your life. So, and you, then your life will be boring. Mine is boring, which is why I started the damn YouTube channel. Because all I do is work, 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 dirt, 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 dirt. Like, that's all I do. All I do is just go to work, come home, talk to the dogs. They don't talk back. <laughs> and I go to bed. Sterling. What are you doing? Sit down somewhere. You see? That's me every day. Every day. And I be bored as hell. So now, and, and to keep me from going out into the world to start some drama, to start some foolishness, let me start a YouTube channel and just run my mouth. You done? Thank you. Because he moving around, be making me nervous. Anywho. So when I be talk when I talk about drug addicts and people who got a whole bunch of drama around them, because they ain't got nothing to do, they bored, and that's what life would be if everybody was the same. If everybody was the same, wasn't no drama, you know, just nothing, no strife, no struggles, no nothing. Life be so damn boring. We all kill ourselves. Mm. So we need that. So everybody. All, all them negative people, all them people, racist white folks, the bigoted white people, the prejudiced black people, uh, uh, the perverted white people. You know, Weinstein, come on down here. We're going to need you in 2020 because folks still ain't learning. And there's another thing. <laughs> if ain't nobody there and if we not learning, then, you know, what's the point of life? If you're not learning anything from these nasty ass people, these broke ass people, from these trifling ass people. What would be the point of life if you're not learning nothing? So you need all them people around you. You need to you just watch from a distance, though. Watch from a distance. Don't get too close, cause you might end up becoming one of them. But that's what that's why I don't give my money to poor people. I do not give my money to people on the side of the street begging for money, cause I be like, mm mm. Because I don't need to be like you, so I'm going to keep all my money. <laughs> I'm going to keep all my money because I'd be damned if I become like you by giving you my money. Next thing you know, I'm on the side of the road. Tell my son, chinkle, chinkle, chinkle. Ooh. 
Lord. So yeah, we need all them people, all, everything, all the negativity, all that, and then people just trip me out when they say, "Oh, I'm leaving this and." In the previous then. No, you not. You was fat then, bitch. You're fat now. You ain't leaving nothing. The only thing you left was your apartment because you got evicted and had to move somewhere else around income tax season time. That's the only thing you left behind. And so <laughs> but people trip me out with that. I'm talking about something. Oh, I'm leaving this in the previous year. And still be doing the same stuff. Still doing the same stuff. I, the only thing you left was marijuana. Now you doing wet. Like you just, <laughs> you doing sherm now. You want, you want cocaine now. Instead of doing the drugs in the previous year, now you selling them this year. It's like, just, uh, just stop. So this is going to be, a, this is a short video because I'm done. I'm done. I'm stupid. But that's we we ain't leaving nothing in the previous year. Just to show you how you don't leave nothing the previous year. How long does it take you to write the new year on paperwork and shit? Just to show you how you are stuck. You are in the same place that you were. Cause I, it takes me about four or five months to write the new year. Next thing I know, hell, it's about to be a whole nother year. I'm like, huh? What? That's how you know you don't be leaving nothing in the previous year. You don't be doing nothing new. That's it. But but we need all of that. We need all, all the foolishness that happened last year. Just let's carry it over. Carry it over. Not like your benefits that don't carry over. You know, you don't carry that over. I'm done. I'll talk to y'all tomorrow. Ain't about the dust, get rich.